When I was in high school, I didn't even know what an engineer was. But I tinkered a lot, just taking things apart, trying to figure out how things work. I never had that guidance to say, hey, you have a mindset of an engineer. I think it was just, I mean, me being real hands-on is what kind of led me to thinking about engineering things. The household that we lived in, we had uh, a total of four of us, and then uh, my mom is a quadriplegic, and she was able to you know, raise kids on her own pretty much from a wheelchair. I always wanted to be successful for her so I could help take care of her. So in high school, I had the opportunity to take a career aptitude test, and uh, engineering was at the top of my list. So I think that's what really kind of geared me up to say, okay, I, I definitely need to you know, go to school to study. been with First Energy a little over 10 years. I physically work in uh, substations in the uh, Ohio area and provide that service for our customers to, to keep those lights on. So I definitely know how it feels to be a customer as well as an employee of First Energy. First Energy has given me the ability to provide for my family. It is very rewarding to come home to kids that, that love me uh, that I can provide for. I, I'm very proud that I'm a role model to my family, but uh, I'm also a role model you know, to, to other folks that are within my community as well. I actually see myself in a lot of these kids that are out there today. I've chosen a mentor because I really didn't have the guidance or someone to go to when I had questions to become a successful engineer. That's why it's so important for me to be that person for someone else.